Nature's wealth, good for your health. This is the Raw Life Health Show. Hello, everybody. This is Paul with the Raw Life Health Show. And as you see there behind me, there's a banana tree getting some fresh bananas off there. And it's such a difference eating bananas fresh off the tree versus bananas from the store. I just had a banana from the store and I was like, what a tremendous difference it is in taste and, and, and just how you feel after you eat it. A banana you get off a tree, it, it just, it tastes, I, I don't know if it's like a, I guess, it just it has a different taste than a store-bought banana. And I've noticed the same thing with all different fruits. Now, as I grow my food, the more food I grow and eat fresh, the more I realize the food in the store is, is missing something. And it's not just taste, it's just something like a nutrition or something. And even if it's organic food, you understand when you cut a food from, the, uh, get, uh, from out of the ground, you know, within a couple of days, you're losing 50% of the, the enzymes and many of the nutrients. And then it's shipped all across the country and all across the the world and it's just missing so much and it's not the same and in fact when you buy any food from any grocery store it's picked unripe or before it was needed to be picked and to protect from bugs and all these different things that's sprayed with many chemicals and so on and there's so much of a difference between fresh food and unfresh food and I have some racks of bananas on my trees here that shows how bananas look on the tree and how they're green on the tree and you don't pick them until they start getting yellow they will ripen off the tree but you want to wait till the first ones are yellow the majority of the fruits in the store and, and i would assume the vegetables as well are picked way way underripe and when you look at the acidity of foods that are picked unripe and you understand the uh, acid and alkaline uh departments of the body and, and, and how we need, we're mostly alkaline and we need mostly alkaline foods and too much acidic food creates a big giant problem for us. We start to understand why the food is so unfresh in the market and it's so unripe and it doesn't taste good. It doesn't have the nutrients it was meant to have, but it's so much harder to digest. And on top of that, when you look at the processing people do to the food, destroying the nutrients in that food and cooking it and, and, and just processing it so much short, more taking out all this good stuff and adding all this bad stuff. By the time the food gets on our plate, we're not eating much nutrition at all. And they often like to say people like to eat for pleasure, not nutrition. And when you're eating food like these bananas I get right from my tree, they're very pleasurable. They taste absolutely amazing. But there's so much missing uh, from the grocery store food because it's so far removed away from nature that things need to be added to it to make it taste good you know and it's uh it, it's just not the way it was meant to be adding sugar to fruit no it was never meant to be that way drying fruit so it could be more sweeter no it wasn't meant to be that way but when we think about how far removed we are from the fresh of it that's the problem it creates so what can you do i don't just want to give you problems i want to give you solutions right because i like the motto no problems only solutions well you want to eat something that's grown fresh. And if you have a yard like I do, maybe you can grow some food. But if you don't have a yard like I do, uh, consider sprouts. You can grow sprouts anywhere in your house. When I lived in New York, I grew sprouts in my kitchen counter. So uh, growing sprouts is, is, is something you could do. Go to local farmer's markets instead of supermarkets is something you could do. Look, the sooner you eat the food from the time it was picked, the better off you're gonna be, assuming it was picked at the right stage. And you find out, maybe you have to go to a farm instead of a local farmer's market. Maybe you have to knock on somebody's tree or look at their garden and ask them if you could purchase some food for them or trade them for some food. Whatever it is, the sooner you eat the food after it was picked, the fresher it's gonna be, the more nutrients it's gonna have, the better it's gonna taste, and, and the less you process it in, in, in cooking it, and, and frying it and microwaving and all that other crazy stuff, uh, the better off you're gonna be, the sooner you eat it, the less processed it is and so on. Now, I don't expect every one of you out there to 100% have an unprocessed, raw vegan diet like I do, but why not? Why not get closer to that? Why not make 80% of your diet raw, ripe, fresh, and organic? And maybe that 20% is for the time you couldn't get it or you didn't wanna get it. Why not go to 
There's so much going on in today's world with, with things being spread and viruses and so on. Now is the time more than ever to make sure and assure our health. And it's not just for now. Do you understand your diet is an investment in your future? So if you eat a bad diet now, your body may be able to deal with it. Some people say it's amazing that somebody could eat a raw food diet and get better from something like cancer. I say it's amazing that somebody could eat McDonald's as long as they eat it and not get cancer. But that's what we want to do. We want to make sure we're investing in our future. So I might be able to, or somebody might be able to eat uh, this denatured uh, food now or this junk food now and get away with it and survive and think, well, I'm the exception and I'm okay. But it will catch up to you later. So my suggestion is, is to make that investment in your health today so when you later on, 10 years down the road, you went, won't end up with an illness or something else. And if you do end up with an illness, maybe in your uh, 70s or 80s or 90s, well, maybe if you weren't eating healthy, that would have happened in your 40s or 50s. No matter how you look at it in every way, it's only an investment in your health and ultimately your money because you're saving a lot of money on doctor's bills and everything else if you're gonna eat healthier. You know, a lot of people, they don't want to spend more money on, on organic food because in some place it's double the cost. But they'd rather spend the money on medical bills later in life. It's all an investment. It's when and where you spend what and how. They don't want to take the time to grow their fruits and vegetables. But later on, they're going to take the time and sit in doctor's offices. And I really pray and hope that that doesn't happen to people and people don't get sick. But the reality is... We have enough information out there now to know what causes sickness and disease and illnesses uh, on certain levels. And eating unprocessed foods that are far removed from nature is not the best way to build health in the body. So I, I, that's why I do these videos and that's why I want people to understand and get it and do it and, and eat healthier and just live healthier and have happier lives. And I tell everyone all the time when I do consultations, I do do health consultations, I tell people all the time, one of the first questions they ask them is, from a scale of one to 10, how much do you love your job? How much do you love your life from a scale of one to 10? You know, and I don't care how well you eat. If you tell me you hate your job and you don't like it and you're getting up every day to do that, you're gonna suffer from health issues, most likely. You're not gonna be as healthy and as joyful as you can be. Do what you love. Do what you love and love what you do. You know, I met a man, the other day he told me, I said, how much do you love your job from a scale of one to 10? He says, I love it. I love it. So what do you do? He said he works at Walmart. Then I see people that are CEOs of, of major companies making hundreds of thousands of dollars a year. I say, how much do you love your job? They say, I absolutely hate it. Too much stress. I don't like what I do. It's not following my passion in life. And I'm telling you that person working at Walmart is much better off from a health standpoint, from a joy standpoint, from a life standpoint, than that CEO. It's not uh, measured by the amount of money you make or your position or title. It should be measured on asking yourself that question. From a scale of one to 10, how much do I love my job? How much do I love my life? There's a saying, if you keep doing the same thing and you expect a different result is the definition of insanity. If you could say you love your life doing what you're doing, wonderful. But if you can't, you need to change something for something to change. And I suggest with your job, your lifestyle, and I don't wanna hear about the excuses, about you're gonna lose your drug insurance, or about you need the money and all this stuff. With the will is a way. Make your life better. Eat better, live better, and be happy. All right? If you have comments or questions, put them below the video. If you'd like to schedule a consultation, if you're suffering from health issues, and, and, and you just wanna get down to the bottom of it, or be motivated to eat healthier, contact me at the email to my website and I'll, I'll be able to, uh, to help you, rawlifehealthshow.com. Just go there and there's a contact page. And you know, watch my other videos. I just wanna encourage you all to eat healthier and do better. All right, everybody, I pray that somebody's hearing this and it's blessing you. Have a great day, everybody, and a great world. I have two different banana trees right now that have bananas on them. There's a rack of bananas. There are different varieties as well. So not only do you know about tasting fresh fruit, but you get different varieties of it as well, where in the store you only get like one variety. I'm gonna show you the other one now as well. These are Monsanto bananas called apple bananas. Growing on a tree. Nature's wealth, good for your health. This is the Raw Life Health Show. Raw Life.
brighten up your life.